What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another speed rebuild on Madden 21 and today we are rebuilding what some could say and maybe argue is the worst team in the NFL. It's hard to say. It is a young franchise so we're not going to give them too much shtick but let's just say they had a bit of potential and that went away. They still have Watson. Will Watson still have freedom? I, I'm not okay. That's not the that's not the question at hand here kind of. Uh, but, yeah, DeAndre Hopkins, one of the worst trades uh, I've ever seen. Like, it just no value at all for it. And it's just, I don't know. I, I just don't think there's a team in the NFL that would look back at that and say, yeah, that was, you know, not a bad trade by the Texans. I just don't think that's possible. And then, of course, releasing J.J. Watt, maybe it's more of a, like, being kind to a great, an all-time great player of theirs and saying, you know what, we understand you want to chase that ring, go get it, buddy. I don't know. But long story short, the team is just all over the place. I know they did actually kind of re, you know, bounce back a little bit with some signings like King and and Lindsay and whatnot. Uh, Lindsay being actually a pretty damn cheap contract, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's still lots of holes and and the the Tunsil trade, a bit of a disaster. It's, I mean, it's something. It's it really is something. That Tunsil trade. Not that I'm saying Tunsil isn't good. But what happened with the Texans record-wise, that could go down as one of the worst trades. Uh, you know, ever, but one of the, at least in the most recent day. Honestly, if the Texans should just have trading off. Like, I'm pretty sure you can go over here and turn trading off. Where's trade type? I think they should disable it, honestly. They, I just... They just don't do good with it, you know? I, I don't know. Regardless, though... We have lots of different positions to attack. There's no real one position I want to attack more than others. It's really, can I turn bad value into okay value, especially with no draft picks? And the answer is probably going to be no. But even though we probably should give ourselves more than 10 minutes, you know the drill. 10 minutes on the clock. We're going to do what we can. And if we can make the playoffs, that would be an automatic win. Regardless, here it is. Three, two, one, and we've already lost. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to hit the damn timer. Okay, we're going to get an extra second. Hopefully, it's not going to matter. Tyrod Taylor could actually have some value running backs. I'd actually want to get rid of all the running backs because, in my opinion, Philip Lindsay is just not... Well, not even in my opinion. He's just not good about him. He just simply isn't. Uh, the Chiefs quarterback is not an issue. Tyreek Hill would be an interesting name. I would assume he absolutely kills it. Travis Kelsey is an X factor, but he is a tight end. So, I might try to stab him as well. I can't. I don't know why we're stabbing people, but... Apparently we are Lawson. I mean, it's not like a huge name for me. Tyreek. I mean, Ty, we got to use these picks. Val what picks? <laughs> I was about to say, we got to use these picks wisely. There are no damn picks. Second round pick. Damn, they are not going to do that. We are wasting a bit of clock and we haven't even gained anyone yet. Jordan Jenkins. Kirksey. Okay, Chris Jones isn't like the biggest name in the world, but he'd be a decent name, I suppose. Damn. Uh, Joe Thune, or Tooney, I believe his name is. Can we get Tooney and Butker in one go? Okay, that was not a great trade for us. You would think, oh, well, you got two really good players. Yeah, it's not that great, though. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it's really not. But, you know, we uh, we we came back. We we bounced back a little bit. The Jets. Williams is actually not a bad player. And that looks to be the best value. So we're going to go to the Jets, and we're just going to take best available. Could even be Corey Davis at this point. Uh, let's make that play. Quarterback is obviously a very high value position, and you know it's definitely overvalued here. I don't, I don't think Tyrod's even close to value for Keenan Williams uh, at all. But yeah, and once again, I need to just get like an encyclopedia of player names because it should just be simply Quinnen. But I've, I've heard Keenan, so I don't, I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pronounce their names how it looks like it should be said. If it's wrong. Oh, well. And I would say Sumi, but I feel like one day in the future, saying Sumi is actually going to be an open discussion for being sued. And then, you know, the jury's going to be like, you know, he did say Sumi, so there's got to be some sort of, you know, guilty party in there for him. The Steelers, Devin Bush is a very common name for me. I like Devin Bush a lot. Juju Smith Schuster would be a starter at this point. Can we get both? I mean, that's unlikely, right? Yo, they do not value their players at all. Holy crap, that's not going to be enough. 
That's not bad. Okay, that's that's kind of a win. That's a huge win, actually. That turns things around quite a bit. Who do we even get rid of? Is it just a cornerback? Chris Conley, Chris Moore, and that other guy. We obviously want to... I don't know what they're going to be valued. I'm going to get rid of Cobb. We, uh, you know, we wasted about three minutes so far, but we have added some decent talent. And we have traded crap for okay. Uh, there's some teams with wide receiver needs. And if the Patriots aren't one of them, I don't know who the hell is at this point. Tight end would be kind of sick. Henry doesn't seem like a super hard player to trade for. Collins, no shot. Middle linebacker, Kevin Pierre-Lewis. Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad. A third-round pick. I mean, Hunter Henry's not that great. Eh, he's, he's okay, but more importantly, it is Madden. Man, we do not have any pass rushers either. Yo, this is bad. We're uh, we're spending too much time on players for whatever reason here. Uh, Cobb, Conley, no, not QT. I think QT's at least, he's okay, young, fast. It's got to be a team that needs these guys, no? It's got to be a wide receiver needy team. It had to be the Patriots. There's no one else. Uh, Kyle Van Noy. I mean, it's not the worst trade in the world. Okay. Michael Onwenu might be a better option then. Uh, Michael Onwenu. Johnu Smith. I'm not saying that's a great trade for us. Oh, my Lord. I'm just going to take Onwenu if I can. I'm just going to I'm just gonna take freaking Kyle Van Noy at this point if I can. Thank you. Kyle Van Noy is an old player. Not super great, but... It'd be what it be. Well, I wouldn't say he's not super great. He's, you know, not a super great overall uh, corner. We're just going to grab everyone. Grab a little bit of everyone and see what we can do here. I actually like Grugier Hill a lot. Or Grugier Hill. Five minutes left. Eh, you know, it's not terrible. Safety. The Cowboys kind of use a, a little bit of everything. Zeke is a not an easy guy to get. I don't know why I said is a not, but I did, so... Here we are. What do I want? I mean, I want everything, but what can we get? Keanu, CD Lamb, no shot. Leighton Van Der Esch, maybe. It's typically the older players you're going to be able to just, like, brute force your way. It's basically what I would just say that is, is just brute force. And Lawrence has dropped a bit. He's still high value for them. I mean, he's still pretty good in this roster as well in general. Jalen. Damn, this is not good. Like, this just is no value. I would take Jalen still, though, especially since we've we invested a little bit into him here. Yeah, right now we're just we're basically just giving them draft picks for him. Whatever, it's it's another linebacker. Speaking of Cunningham, we can keep Jenkins will be gone. Kevin Pierre Lewis and then Kirksey, I suppose. Eagles would definitely be a good candidate. Four minutes left. Okay, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit more pressure as the time keeps ticking because I don't feel like we did much for the offense. But Watson might be able to carry. It's kind of had to so far. Um, Kelsey Brooks. I mean, we aren't going to get both, but thought maybe I'd see the value there. Uh, Goddard. This might be a chance for Goddard, honestly. Dallas Goddard. Miles Sanders as well. I think we pull that off actually. I know the two-player trades at a time usually are bad, but who did we just put off the list there? Because uh, whoever that was, they wanted. Is it Jordan uh, Jenkins? Is it Jelani? Is it Jordan? Is Jordan? Oh, Jordan Jenkins was already on the list. Who the hell was it then? It wasn't Kevin Pierre. It was Kirksey. Oh, no. This is a bit of a sell now. Now it's 100% a sell. Now it's a sell. This is too much. Just give me Goddard, I suppose. Just give me Goddard, I suppose, I said. Come on, man. This is too much. It's it's not enough, apparently, but it is too much in general. The tight end position is actually not that hard to, to trade for, typically, but I guess so. We do have two running backs still, so we can trade those off. Wide receiver is a need, though. We could Aikens and Anakar. Wide receiver, running back. Don't really need too many wide receivers, though. You can probably just get one and be good. Any, like, star devs. The Rams, ironically enough, might be a team that's good to trade with. Like, Robert Woods is, is kind of a low overall. I mean, they just they just took it. I don't even know if they, they had value in running back, but they took it. That could have been a sell. I didn't really expect to get him, I'll be honest with you. But, you know, here we are getting players we didn't expect to get. Howard Star, but that might actually give him value, even though he probably shouldn't have it. Uh, we have two linemen that are decent. Pass rusher is kind of horrendous. 
Linebacker, corner, Murray. Two minutes left to try and get maybe another lineman, honestly. Re-up re on a lineman. Jonathan Allen Ray, really ain't my guy. Chase Young had no shot in the world. I don't know why I'm even doing that. Where's the guard guy? Sheriff. I think he's superstar now, though. Crap. Oh, not Demario. I mean, not Demario's not a good player or not. I think Cameron Jordan could be a nice player. This might be a decent play, actually. We have a second round. We have a first round pick next year as well. Damn, they are not seeing the value here. That's a little shocking. Could have been an overtrade. First round pick seemed to get almost any player you want, it seems. Like, you know, other than like quarterback position stuff. But, you know, we did add a pretty important position to the group. All right, outside linebackers. If we just find a team that needs to cover our outside linebacker, we're good. One and a half minutes left. Need a running back desperately. The Niners. Mostert could be a shot. I don't really think I like Mostert. This is easy money. Easy money. Uh, I don't really think I like Mostert too much for Madden, but it's okay. Uh, this is a lineman for us. Let's find a... Uh, I mean, let's be honest. They aren't going to do it, but a minute left. Lineman, lineman. Old but decent. Old but decent. Whitworth, he's... I mean, that's probably an overtrade, but I'll take him. Little overtrade there, kind of panicked. We have a whole minute left, too. That's the worst part about it. Uh, we got our running back, got our wide receiver. Wide receiver's lacking a little bit, I can admit. Superstar for uh, Roberts, though, so maybe one, two, three, four, five linemen. So we actually did do well there. If we can get one last pass rusher, I suppose I'd have Williams as an edge, technically. Pass rusher, pass rusher. Old but gold. Von Miller. They don't want it. 26 seconds. Chiefs. Chris Jones. Always like the guy that comes to my mind. No shots. Tyron Matthew. At this point, it might just be like best available if they have anyone at all. Derek Naughty might not be a bad choice. Sneed. Frank Clark actually does really well in Sim. I'm willing to take him. Keep Williams at DT. So we left a little bit of clock on there, and we may have left a little bit of talent there, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see what we did. Uh, we have some extra players. Hopefully, we didn't miss anyone to trade. I'll admit when we do, though. I think there was a bit of, like, bulk pass rushers we could have gotten rid of, like Whitney Merciless might have been able to be traded and all that. There were some guys we might have been able to get, like, one extra position for, like, maybe a better safety. I feel like we did okay, though. We didn't fill the punter position, but we got a high kick power guy. So, Fairburn's awesome, uh, but we, you know, we ended up getting Harrison Butker. So, let's move some players around, see what overall we get to. I think the the receiving position we did lack quite a bit on. Skill position, just in general, we kind of lacked quite a bit on. But you know, here we are. All right. Hopefully, we didn't sell too hard because the overall is probably the lowest we've had for a uh, for a speed rebuild. We, you know, most are not our highest overall running back. But uh, he fast. That's that's all I got. He fast. <laughs> Robert Woods, pretty damn good player actually. Cooks, kind of the most cocked player in the NFL, honestly. Uh, offensive line, we got a pretty good left tackle. We traded for a good left guard. The rest is history. Tight end Goddard, not bad. You know, this team did have a pretty rough starting base. I had to put Kyle Vanoy as a left end pass rusher because he has like 78 finesse. Because I uh, ended up having four coverage linebackers, so you know this is what we're rocking instead. Edmonds at strong. We kept the original corners. Jordan at DT. Williams at DT. Frank Clark at right end. It's uh, it's a pretty interesting to say the least. We didn't really get that many big names. We ended up getting a breakout from Mr. Terrell Edmonds. You almost never see him get a breakout first year, and here he is. And here we are in the playoffs at 13 and three. We have done these things before. We have we have used. Uh, this playbook combo before and we've not went 13-3 with a team that's not quote-unquote that great I mean, it's not a bad team by any means and the overall, uh, you know is kind of being deterred I don't even that's the word here by uh, the offensive lineman ratings, but Deshaun Watson he carrying uh, Raheem Mostert not great, but not bad considering he's an elusive style back those guys usually don't do too well in sim You know the receiving performances, you know, not super great Maybe the defense is good. I don't know why, but any defense I have Kyle Van Noy on, it's just good. It just is. Seven sacks, not bad for not a true pass rusher. Like an edge rusher at, what, 31 years old? Oh, man. Frank Clark with nine always does well for me. Cameron Jordan, 11 at DT, not bad. Jalen got some sacks. 
Uh, looking at pick totals, Roby was decent. Kicking Harrison Butker, my guy. We would have ignored it, you know? You never know. Could have went like 10-6 and six instead. I'm not sure how that changes anything, but here we are. Rodgers is the MVP. Deshaun at number three. Offensive player of the year for the AFC side. Uh, no one really else, but not bad. Harrison wasn't number one, though. Okay. Uh, no one really else, but that's fine. Of course, we do have Andrew Whitworth retiring, which is kind of an OP move. Because obviously he, you know, he's gonna be maxed out. But more importantly, you're gonna have the team leader also maxing out the rest. So in theory, I don't know how high morale normally gets, but if we get a general manager and that, the offense is basically gonna max out morale. So going for like one of those guys that's guaranteed to retire after one year, not that bad of a decision. It's not that bad because uh, obviously we're juicing out now. Let's see if we can do it going up against the Houston. Bull Buffalo Bills. Yep. We can easily beat Buffalo. I'm not even worried about this one. This is it's really who are you gonna play next? I've seen the Patriots won like 49 to something. Uh Houston seven to six. Please. I it was false confidence. I really didn't believe we were guaranteed some sort of some sort of win. But like it was confidence, and apparently it was wrong. Ten minutes left. Not looking too bad, but defense is kind of looking pretty bad. Can't stop a soul. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. Clutch it. Clutch it. What happened? Fourth and goal from the three and you throw it away. I'm coming in. I know we're not supposed to play. And I haven't done it for any other team. And I, I, I don't know. But I don't care. I don't care. And he holds. I'm, I, I accept loss. Jalen Smith at number five. I suppose that's actually an option now, isn't it, in, in the real world? Very interesting, to say the least. I probably won't be, you know, delving into that absolute degeneracy that it seems like players will be delving into. But, you know, it's a thing, I guess. I was looking at the stats. Deshaun Watson really couldn't have done much more. Uh, yeah, you got to go for a running back. I think it's it's just key for, for the... I mean, Kareem Hunt, that's your guy. I mean, honestly, it's just... We may repeat at running back mostly, but... At least we didn't really repeat anywhere else, right? I don't think we grabbed even a single player. Well, maybe Devin Bush. Uh, I don't know how many players we grabbed in this one that are similar to ones we've done before. So I'm not feeling, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about what we did with the team to go 13-3, and three, win a playoff game, lose to the Bills who, like, scammed us. How do you not score from the three-yard line? You throw it away. Who throws the ball away on fourth down at the three? Just run. You're Deshaun Watson. You have escape artist. Come on, dude. Of course, the Browns win the Super Bowl. It would have been nice to, to knock them off their pedestal, but I suppose we did all right. Obviously, overall is going to drop a little bit. We had some older players regressing, some older players just, just straight up dying. Of course, Robert Woods goes to Superstar, kind of saving himself. I was debating on doing this in the Rams League, but you had to re-sign him. I think overall it was probably a good decision not to. Left tackle, you lose. Right guard, you lose. Uh, defensively, do you lose anyone? Roby goes to Superstar. Jalen goes to Superstar. Not our prettiest one. Not our flashiest uh, speed rebuild yet. Not our most successful one. But I like it. A bunch of misfits. And it, it worked out somehow. It worked out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have a team you want to see next uh, for us to do for speed rebuilds. If there's any parameters you want us to set. Maybe we start one at the draft, which would be interesting. 10 minutes. You can only, like, 10 minutes... And as soon as your pick is on, that's when the timer goes. And then it stops when your pick's not on. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care. Second channel, Care plays. Twitch.tv slash Jerome Care for streams, which we, uh, we've we actually done a speed rebuild on stream that'll come out at some point. So, you know, maybe it'll be another one tonight, for all you know, at 10 p.m. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video... Uh, See ya! I got the snow cone, kid! Let's go! Uh, but. Maybe instead of looting a sacred temple, we could just get out of here? Uh, maybe, uh, you shut the hell up, kid. Y'all are weak. We've seen you get your ass snapped. Yeah, they deserve to die. They creep me out. Man, I should have ended this stream like... Ah! Ah! This little camper! All oh, those mines! It's like the equivalency of using a freaking claymore while sniping.